Okay, here's part of your challenge for this week. I want you to go exploring. You know, when you were a kid, you wouldn't overthink things. Um, you would just go and wander and explore. It's one of my favorite things to do still as an adult, but you have to be smart about it. And I want to teach you how I go to a new piece of land. And I slowly work my way further and further every time I visit, gaining this 365 degree view of the land I'm exploring. I'm loss proofing myself slowly, but surely it's loss proofing yourself. Now, before you do this, you need to tell somebody where you're going. You can bring along some flagging tape to help keep yourself on track and, and you really won't get lost. But I want you to think about exploring land like as a bullseye. When you go to new land, when you go new places, start at the center of the bullseye. And as you continue to explore, your bullseye gets a little bigger. So the first time you visit a piece, you might only go as far as your eyes can see. And I want you to walk the perimeter of what you can see. And you're always looking back to the bullseye, right? So you walk the perimeter. Then on your next trip, you go back to your bullseye and you go a little farther and you orient yourself 365 there. What's happening is you're, you're gaining a view of what everything looks like in the area you can see and you're, you're going back and forth from your bullseye. You're slowly expanding the space you're trying to explore. And that way you recognize things and, and you won't get lost uh, here in Michigan and Alaska and elsewhere. There's lots of national forests, there's lots of state land, and it's my favorite places to go exploring because I'm not gonna run into anybody. I never have, I have never once ran into anybody when I am off the trail, okay? We're talking about off trail stuff. That is my philosophy, you slowly expand, and that is how I found this amazing uh, piece of land that I've recreated on extensively. It's kind of like my own little secret spot. And that's how you find the good spots, is you just go exploring. Um, I take my dogs with me. Look at your little nose. Oh my goodness. It's a bog dog. Let's go. We've made it to the bog. That's why I initially wanted to explore this area. I saw this bog on a map. always loved bogs. They're just fascinating to me. I love all the, the plants and the moss. It's just so beautiful. And drink? That's some good filtered water right there. <laughs> Moose just ran by and I could feel the ground kind of, even with just his little weight, bounce. Love that. Wow, those are beautiful. That is nice. If you don't have cell service, it's a good idea to take some kind of an emergency satellite communication device. I have a Garmin inReach that I usually bring. There is no cell service here, um, but definitely tell somebody where you're going and loss proof yourself with some flagging tape. So if you need to go a ways, put a little flagging in the tree, go a little farther. When you come back, you remove this. You never wanna leave this in the woods. So you're always taking it back with you. That's part of your challenge this week is to explore, to expand your vision, expand your world, get out of your comfort zone. What is it, buddy? The other thing you should do is get down low. Get down and see what it looks like looking up at the trees. Remember to look up. When you're going out on your bullseye, you always want to turn around and look behind you and see what it looks like. But you're going to do a big circle in your vision and then you're just going to expand that circle. Over days, it becomes really exciting to find new land. Now as you walk your bullseye, you're also going to be noticing all the things with all your senses, what it feels like, what it smells like. Notice the cool big things, the cool small things, and really just enjoy being out. Wow, this looks like a chanterelle. 
sure is. Look at that. It's, it's old, but that's a chanterelle. I mean, it sticks out like nobody's business. Isn't that beautiful? Love these big trees. I like to bring along a little notebook. I got my little tripod stool, super light. And I got a knife and a lighter, just exploring. So this is a shelter I built several years ago. And I haven't done much to it since then. I had a few overnights in it. I put the link to the videos of me building this shelter, but I found this spot and I loved it and made this shelter, which is still standing. I need to come back and do an overnight here. Well, this should be the location of my other shelter. But it looks like it's collapsed. Oh, that's such a bummer. It's just a pile. Oh, I really liked this shelter. This was a good spot. Good view of the bog. Oh well. Well, the material is still there. I could I could rebuild it. If you want to see me build this shelter, I'll put the link below. This this is probably three years old. I've never had a, a shelter collapse, so I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, something here gave way, but didn't last. He's just a little guy, but he's coming on strong. That feels good. It's a little chilly today. <laughs> oh, you're a dirty dog. You're a wet, dirty dog. You're a bog dog. Well, today's fire is the commitment fire. In the vision. This is the, the time when you need to take that big audacious goal that you had in the first challenge, the first fire, you're going to turn it into a vision. You got to, you got to see the target and you got to start making tracks towards the target. That's why what we did earlier with the uh, bullseye exploring, is, you know, you start with your idea and you slowly take steps and expand it till you can see the whole target. So this fire is you committing to that big audacious goal. So, I want you to take your paper. Today you're gonna to burn all your fears and your limitations and the things that have held you back in the past that are holding you back right now. Write down uh, people who are negative in your life, your excuses. Let go of your past failures. Let go of your past mistakes. Uh, let go of some of the people who are um, causing you harm. When you're done, I want you to tear it off. Guess what? Burn it up. Because you're letting it go. You're letting all that old stuff go. You have a commitment. You have a vision. And now you need to build the plan. Start the middle of the bullseye and start taking steps to work your way out. We're building upon last week's challenge. So besides the exploring, I want you to keep walking and exercising. Go a little farther. Do a few more reps, get your fire in, do some exploring, do it safely and start to build your vision for your big audacious goal. You know, sometimes what we do does not fit into the norms of what people expect you to do. It's very easy to listen to the voices of negativity in yourself and around you. It's very easy to talk yourself out of being an original. I heard this quote and I can't remember who I heard it from, but it has always stuck with me. Different is better than better. So when you can find your own self, and even if it's different than everybody else, it's better than the best that's out there. Like you are so uniquely you that you need to capitalize on that. Capitalize on your own strengths and build on that. Let go of all the people and the things and the failures, the negative self-talk that's holding you back from your goals. Because absolutely anything is possible. Anyway, you just burned it up. So we're, not, we're moving on now. I remember the first time uh, I found this hat. I was in Alaska and I found it at the Prospector, which is a really cool outdoor store. And I put this hat on and I thought, oh, that's a cool hat. And I thought, well, it's, it's also, you know, it's very unusual. You know, you don't see a lot of people wear hats like this, but I really liked 
how it looked. It's very Indiana Jones-ish. <laughs> I thought, man, if I wear this hat, I mean, I'm going to stick out. Uh, no doubt about it. I'm going to look different than everybody else. About that same time, I, I started wearing those weasel tail earrings. I don't have them in today, but I do like big, um, kind of audacious <laughs> dangly earrings. And uh, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be wearing these weasel tail earrings and this hat and and I love how they both looked, but I'm gonna freaking stick out. Like I'm gonna, people are gonna look at me because I don't look like everybody else. I'm also a grown woman wearing braids. Like <laughs> it's just who I am. So I don't look like everybody else. It took a little bit of doing to convince myself that I was allowed to wear whatever I wanted and put whatever kind of tails or feathers or beads I wanted in my ears and be okay with who I am and who I wanna look like. Um, that may seem like a silly thing, but same with this. I found this pair of red corduroy pants that I just love. And I mean, seriously, red corduroy pants, you don't exactly blend in. So you just have to go with it. You have to be yourself. Different is better than better. And it's just powerful when you can figure that out on your own. All right, if you're interested in a piece of scripture for this week's challenge, here it is. I had something else picked out, but I lifted this from... Jonathan Daring's post on Instagram. Jonathan Daring makes amazing knives. Uh, wow, they are so custom and beautiful. And he only sells them on Instagram. And he, you can see his process of how he makes his knives. And he's from Michigan, great guy. I lifted this piece of scripture from one of his posts. I just really liked it the other day. It's Psalms 27, 13. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness in the Lord, in the land of the living. I love the idea of celebrating the land of the living and the Lord is definitely present here and all around us. And, you know, burning all those failures in the past and the things holding us back and our fears, that's being present in the land of the living. It's not dwelling on things that are no longer. It's, it's being in the land of the living and I just really like that. So you can think about that this week if you'd like, put that in your pocket. Here's our commitment, our vision. Let's uh, hit that target. Keep walking, exploring, doing your exercises. Ramp it up a little bit this week. Instead of five, do 10 of everything. Double your distance of walking and have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. It's going in the notebook.